What's up guys, 8BitSquid here and welcome to another Unity and Playmaker tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be covering how to get uh, our character, or in this case it's the capture collider representing our player, moving in a 3D space. If you're looking at how to do this in 2D, I'll leave a card in the top right of the screen um, where you can find my tutorial for 2D movement. All right, so before we jump into this, please hit like and subscribe, hoping to hit 200 subscribers by the end of the year. So if uh, you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It would be a great help to hit that 200 subscriber mark. Okay, so what I've got here is a very basic scene. I've just got this plane. As you can see, it's just a plane um, to be my grass using this material which is using an image of grass for it, this one here. And I've got some trees as well, just to make it a little bit more interesting to look at. Uh, my play is just a capsule collider. Obviously it comes with the capsule collider already attached. So it's just a capsule, I should say, not a capsule collider. And we're gonna add a rigid body. <clears throat> okay, and we're gonna leave everything the same here. But where it says constraints, we're going to open up here and freeze the rotation on the X, Y, and Z axis. Next, we're going to add a new FSM. And we're going to call this movement. So I'm going to call it movement here. And also the actual action movement. We only need one action. And we're going to add three actions. We're going to add a translate. And then get axis. We need to add two get axis. Now, if you're not sure about what the name of your axis are, they should be horizontal and vertical. But if you're not sure, you can go to project settings and go to uh, input manager, axes, and check here. As long as it says horizontal and vertical here, because you can change the names of them. So you may have changed that if you're in an existing project. If you're in a new project, it should be horizontal and vertical. And unless you've changed anything, it should pick up by keyboard and mouse unless you change to be joystick or mouse movement here. Okay, so <clears throat> now we know that is all okay. We're going to set this to horizontal. And make sure it's spelled the same. So if it's got a capital in your input manager, you want it to be capital here as well. Horizontal, vertical. And I'm going to store this in a new global variable. Uh, in fact, no, I'm going to store this in a just a local variable because we're only going to be using it on this character. So I'll call it horizontal. And give it a multiplier of 5. Here, same five, a new variable, vertical. Um, the only difference between just a uh, new variable and a global variable, think of this as local. So this is only going to work in this FSM here. If I add a new FSM, it's not going to work. Yeah, so they're here. A global variable, I could use the same one on many different um actions but they would all be uh, uh, influenced by in this case the input of our arrow keys or the ASWD keys okay and then all we need to do is then hook it up in here now when we did it in a 2d environment we we're only using the x and y but obviously because we're working in a 3d space yeah x is like forward and back, and Z is like left and right, while Y is up and down. So we want to set our X to horizontal and our Z to vertical. World space self, that's done. We're going to hit play. Okay. And you see there we are moving. Okay, so in this case, depending on the angle, 
So it all depends on your camera. You can mess around with how the movement is. So at the moment, left, the vertical, because of my camera, is there. So um, let's set ver the Z axis to be horizontal, horizontal to be vertical. And we can give the multiplier a bit more. Let's try 10 for now. Hit play. And you can see we are moving around. Um, in this case, obviously, at the moment, you can see at the moment I'm pressing the right arrow key and I'm moving left and the left I'm moving right. So to fix this, we can, uh, I believe it's probably in the settings here is what the issue is. So if we go to input manager and we go to vertical, we can tick invert. And now that's still happening. Okay, let me take that back. So we can actually do it in the FSM. Um, I thought it might just be easier. Hmm, strange. Why wow, that's like that. Okay, let's have a look. So look at our player again. Keep again. I've got to click on the play view. Okay. Um, okay. So we can just basically then for this one, because uh, it's that we can invert here. And actually, I think I know why the problem was there in project settings here horizontal is being left and right uh, i got mixed up when i said it earlier uh, so we'll put that there so if we actually untick that and we can give it a bit more speed it still seems to be moving very slowly so we'll hit that okay let's hit play there we go a lot faster and it's working how i want it now Right is right, left is left. Now, it all depends on the aspect of your camera. So, in this case, my camera's here. So, if I hit play now, you'll notice that if I press up, it's going left, down, and right. Yeah, so it's kind of gone weird again. So, it's why it's important to basically make sure that you're checking where your camera is when setting your movement again it's really simple to fix because i can just go to my player and then uh this then just put x as horizontal and the z as vertical again and now because of my the, the way my camera is facing it now works, as I said before, with uh, the uh, left and right being covered by that, and up and down being controlled by the up and down arrows. And as it's inverted on here, we can tick the box here. <clears throat> We'll invert it, hit play. If it's not working, we can go into the uh, input settings. Okay, so best go to our input settings again and just do a few changes and it should all be working properly. 
So because horizontal is going to be uh, left and right, we want we can uh, untick that. And then for our vertical, we will invert that. And we'll hit play. And we've got up for up, down arrow for down, left for uh, right for right, left for left. And it will work with the ASW and D keys. Just mess around with your speed. But yeah, and also if we go towards a tree, we should. I can't tell if we're. Uh, oh, yeah, because the trees don't have uh, colliders on them. I've changed yeah, <laughs> the thing there, but yeah. But yeah, that is it for the uh, 3D movement. Uh, if you found this video uh, tutorial helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button um, to get more tutorials from me. And that is it for this one. And yeah, until next time, 8-Bit Squid out.